Hello, mates. Oh, I forgot to tell you something. Okay. First and foremost, I will not say guys. I will call you mates, fellas, blokes, ladies, gentlemen, but guys. I won't say that. I'm really sorry. Okay. Well, today is food idioms. What I mean by that, food idioms. Well, basically, we've got we've got different idioms using food. I will give you the first example. Oh, it's not my cup of tea. It's not my cup of tea. Well, basically, something that you don't like. Okay. Um, while in Portuguese we say não é minha praia, and in English. Normally, it is uh, it is said like this. Oh, do you do you like uh, do you like dark chocolate? A hundred percent cocoa. I'm really sorry, mate. It's not my cup of tea. It's not my cup of tea. That's one of the examples, all right? Um, for example, oh, do you really do you really like do you really like um, um, white chocolate? No, unfortunately, it's very fatty. And it's not my cup of tea at all. It's not my cup of tea. It's not my cup of tea. Uh, right? A piece of cake. That's the second one. Piece of cake. A piece of cake it means that it's very easy. You know how to play chess? Of course, it's a piece of cake, mate. Of course. <laughs> That's a piece of cake. Do you know how to make tea? Yes, indeed, it's a piece of cake. No worries. Bad apple, bad apple. Well, normally, you know, using these food idioms, um, well, let's say bad apple, a bad apple. A bad apple is um, a bad person, let's say. Let's say it's a bad person, right? Well, you have a group of people, like more than three, four people, okay? 10 people in the group, but one of them is not working properly. Just because he's bad, just because he doesn't want to see the rest of the group thrive, move forward, right? You would call this person a bad apple, bad apple, right? Bad apple. Big cheese. Oh my God, big cheese. What would be this one, the third one? What would be, the, sorry, not the third, the fourth. Big cheese. Big cheese is an influential, uh, influential person. What would be an influential person? Well, Barack Obama is a big cheese. Barack Obama is a big cheese. Why? Because he is definitely an influential person. Um, David Cameron is a big cheese because he's an influential person, very influential. Couch potato. What would be a couch potato? Well, normally a couch potato, um, a couch potato is a person who is extremely, extremely lazy. It's a person who is very lazy. You ask the person, oh, could you do the dishes, please? Oh, no, I'm so sorry. I'm not okay today. Do you know what I mean? That's something, it's a couch potato, somebody that, who doesn't want to make any effort to get what you ask or, or a person who doesn't want to do something, you know, in order to go forward, to move beyond the limits. They just want to be on the couch. That's why people call a couch potato. That's a couch potato. Yeah. Well, well, it always happened in my classes. Okay, so I'm gonna just to put it back. Okay. Well, thank you today. Thanks a million. Thanks a million, mates. <laughs> See you very soon, fellas. Cheers.